Hey everyone! Tom was here, back at it with another unboxing video, and through the sea of mail, everywhere you go you see memes and quotes and comments and videos about the sea of mail, this has finally arrived. This says BAM Gamer, but it's actually the BAM Horror Double Autograph Fire Sale Box. Um, it's in the BAM Gamer Funko Pop box. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a Funko inside, um, but very curious to see what is in here. Um, I haven't actually watched too many videos, haven't actually seen too many videos of people that open this one, um, so I'm very curious to see what is inside here. Um, with a horror fire sale, you get you know a wide variety of items from previous BAM boxes. I, I actually, uh, the BAM horror box was capped, so I wasn't able to get it, uh, you know, probably since I started with BAM, which was like in July or August. Um, so some of this stuff, majority of this stuff will probably be new to me. Um, not to say I won't have repeats, but we'll see how it goes. I am flying solo today because the boy had to go to school today for four hours and he is tired. So, plus he's not like... He's not ingratiated into horror just yet. Um, you know, we're, we're baby stepping with horror with him. Um, but yeah, let's crack it open and see what we're doing here. Okay. Alright. Okay. So we have a hodgepodge of different things here. Now we have, I actually uh, ended up buying this because I wanted it for myself, so I'm happy to take another one because I really like the prop. One of the, my favorite BAM box props that I received. Uh, this is the King County Sheriff's Badge from The Walking Dead. Um, this, uh, this is Andrew Lincoln, Rick Grimes badge. I actually have it right here, if you can see it. Um, but cool to have another one. Uh, like I said, I really like the prop. I I like the weight to it. I think it's really well done. Uh, so I am not mad about getting that one. I didn't realize it was in the horror box. I actually thought it was in the geek box. Okay. First pin. Um, what is this? Why am I blanking on this? Limited release pin. But it doesn't say whether it's like limited to 250. Is that Pinhead? Correct me if I'm wrong. It might be Pinhead um, from Hellraiser. Um, although he doesn't have pins in his head, he has blades sticking out of his head. Uh, if that's not Pinhead, I apologize. I'm, I'm blanking on that. I, I'm pretty good with with horror movies, but, you know, occasionally they'll throw me rogue for something, uh, and I won't, uh, like this, for example. Uh, this pin has a limited release of 99. So this is a 99 limited release pin, and it's whatever that is. Um... Truth be told, I do not know. Doesn't look familiar. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm blanking on this. Let me know in the comments below. Um, you know, with the pins, like I said, I usually don't collect them. In fact, they're usually put up for um, sale or trade. So maybe someone would be interested in getting this limited release of 99 pin, although I can't tell you what this is from and uh, what it's about. So couple art cards in here. It looks like a set. And it is a shining... Ooh, a shining set. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Um, so a nice little two-piece set there. Um, you know, I don't really collect the cards too much either. Uh, so they may be something that's going to go up for uh, trade or sale in the community. Well, I haven't had too much luck uh, trading in the community recently. Maybe because people get these horror fire sale boxes or the geek fire sale boxes. And then they have too much of them. And then the people that are still trying to offload the other items um, that they're, you know, want to trade have some. So it's a, it's a, a seller flooded market at the moment. Um, but every once in a while you'll find someone that's interested in one of two of your items. I sold kind of trickled sold items. This one is I think something that seems like everybody gets. Uh, this is from House of a Thousand Corpses, fried chicken and gasoline. I didn't realize, I thought this was like a plastic plate. It's like a nice like metal plate, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if it's something where I decided like, well, you know, maybe I'll 
maybe I'll put this up for sale. I swear like everybody has this up for sale. So that may not be one. That may be one I just hold on to for a while. Um, but you know, really cool with the stuff that's in this box so far. And um, wait, there's another pin lurking in the bottom here. And that is, I've, I've actually seen this pin that people had up for sale. Um, but once again, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on what actually this is from. Um, at least it's something that doesn't look particularly familiar. So let me know. Let me know on these in the comments below. Because like, I'm usually good on horror, but every once in a while, there's stuff in there that I just, you know, are lost on me. Now that's a really cool print there. Dawn of the Dead, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, um, that Dawn of the Dead is actually filmed at my local mall. I live in the Pittsburgh area, and the mall I went to growing up was the Monroeville Mall, which was the mall in Dawn of the Dead. Uh, so that's a really cool print that I may keep. I should mention, because I forgot to mention this, that my mom was working at Gimbel's, not to age myself and her, at Monroeville Mall during the Dawn of the Dead filming. Gimbel's, of course, is a department store that no longer exists. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Uh, 702 out of 2000, really cool art print. Um, you know, I don't like to collect a ton of the art prints, but every once in a while there is a cool one like this, and it's one I, I plan on actually holding on to. So, very cool. Um, thrilled with that. Okay. Now, this is um, 820 or 891 of 2200. Uh, that is Candyman art print. Uh, I believe that's from the newer release Candyman, the one that was a... Did it come out this year? Or was it supposed to come out this year and it got pushed like everything else did? I think maybe it got pushed. Um, but this is from actually the newer Candyman um, design. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool too. Yeah, I don't mind that art print. Uh, I don't know if it would be one I'd keep, like the Dawn of the Dead one. But, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. Okay, so we're down to, I think, the autos left. I could be wrong about this. I think the autos. Okay, and we got... I don't know her name, but that is the, uh, the governor's daughter, I believe it is, from The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, I don't know the actress's name. Uh, but that's, that's a pretty cool one. Um, that's... Yeah, I can't remember how many episodes she was in, to be honest. I just remember her, um... Yeah, like an episode two here or there. Like, not, like, one of those band box ones, you know, prior to the Beckett COA, where it was like, eh, you know, that's, that's like a cool one, you know, you don't think about. But not like a, not like a, like, in the last month box, they had C. Thomas Howe, who was in The Outsiders, was like the star of films, you know what I mean? Like... Maybe she grows up and she becomes something. Um, but right now, you know, she just played the governor's daughter for like two episodes on The Walking Dead, which is fine. Like I said, you know, I'm, I, so I'm happy. I like The Walking Dead, so I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, it's a BAM COA on that one. Uh, pretty cool. Not exactly the horror autograph I was hoping for, um, but that's okay. And this one here is... Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is that, um... Is that actually Barry Boswick? That's actually pretty cool if it is. Uh, I'd have to look back and see, um... It's probably this guy. <laughs> I don't know. No, I kid. Um, it, it might be, might be Barry Boswick. You know, it's funny, um... The big knock I would have when collecting autographs way back when is uh, I would say, you know, oh, you're paying all this money for a scribble. Uh, you, know, you know, someone's scribble on there. Or you're, you know, or you're, you know, collecting people's scribbles. Uh, which is not, not entirely incorrect. I mean, I have a whole bunch of scribbles on the wall here. Um, but the question is, when you see a scribble like this, is it Barry Boswick's scribble? It would be cool if it was. It may be. I don't know if he did anything for BAM, but to be honest, like I said, I'm newer to BAM as of this year. Um, but that would be a pretty cool get 
I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad at that if it was Barry Boswick. Um, the only thing, and I'm, you know, I'm sorry I'm going to alienate some of you here um, that you're going to hate me because of this, but I've never been a big fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I love Tim Curry, love Tim Curry, like Susan Sarandon, like Barry Boswick, but I never really got into this movie. Now, I know people, you know, make a big, like, thing and, you know, they have those midnight showings way back when, you know, when the world was normal. Um, and, you know, I've never been to one of those, but I mean, I've just watched it and I just was like, oh, this is, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, but and maybe one I put up for um, sale or trade, perhaps. But I do want to confirm if it's actually Barry Boswick. Let me know in the comments below uh, your thoughts on this. And what do you feel about this BAM Horror Box? Uh, this was actually, the, I believe, less of a cost than the standard box. And you get, you know, a couple nice props. Uh, the King County badges, which I'm a big fan of. Fried Chicken Gasoline Sign, uh, the metal plate. Um, so I'm thrilled with that. You got three pins, two art cards, Two art prints, two autos. Not bad. Um, you know, I, you know, I know when people. Some people knock Bam sometimes. Um, they're like, "Oh, I don't feel I get the value," or compared to other boxes, I never felt like truly like I was like, "Wow, this value uh, is." You know, occasionally you'll get a you'll get a box. Like I wasn't a big fan of the um, boxes that came out. Was it September? I think when they were all the cereal box props and I got a couple different ones uh, and ended up tr actually part of my trade was for the third one, which is the horror box and they were all cereal box props. So not super thrilled with those, but anytime it's like a quality prop like this and an auto that's pretty good, because if that's Barry Boswick, you know, if you went to a convention and you met Barry Boswick, his auto, if you wanted to get it, would probably be more than the cost of this box. So getting that along with all these other things for me, is value. Like I said, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on BAM. I know some people don't like them. I know some people don't like them. Uh, I always enjoy BAM. Um, I, you know, I really dig their boxes. I've always been a fan of it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, spreadshirt, er, t-shirt, sweatshirt, hat, spreadshirt, there's a link in the description below, along with links to my eBay store, Instagram, new Facebook page. Make sure to check those all out. Um, but that'll wrap it up for the BAM Horror Double Autograph Fire Sale Box. I can't complain about this box. I thought it was pretty cool. I do actually have a box on the way. It's the Jam Pack Triple Auto Box that is somewhere between Pennsylvania and Texas right now, floating in the wind, as well as some other, you know, trades I made recently. So whenever they get here, they will be unboxed. Um, have, I think, another video coming out this week, so stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching, but until the next video, we will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.